day is around the corner and some of you most of you have planned special nights out with your special um ladies um or even gents um in your life so yeah so this is my top five fragrances to wear uh one of these will do on that special day right so at number five a fragrance that i've had in my collection for a very long time and man it is a special special fragrance i don't wear it as much because my collection has expanded um you know over the past a year and a half but yeah from the house of rojas rojas low so top note here um, cardamom, blood orange, pineapple, so sweet, fruity, the mid as well, juniper, berries, geranium, and basil, so the fruit, herbal mix there, and then the base, we've got tonka, bean, patchouli, and moss. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, um, those under the radar type of fragrances that are out there that many people don't know about, not very mainstream, no, you won't find in a lot of um, retail outlets. So definitely one of those uh, fragrances that, man, you'll, you'll smell unique. You'll smell special if you have this on on that special um, night out uh, on Valentine's Day, right? At number four, a special, special fragrance. Man, this, I remember it. A lot of people used to wear this. I've come across a lot of people that wear this. Unforgivable by Sean John. Um, so man, it's definitely one of those smell good everyday kind of fragrances, you know, but definitely perfect for an evening out with your special person. And yeah, the note breakdown, obviously very loaded. It's one of those, uh, 2000s, uh, fragrances, early 2000 fragrances. And yeah, man, it's, it's special. This is special. At first, I didn't take it seriously, but the more I experienced it, man, I started to really, really love this uh, Sean John Unforgivable, and I'm looking forward to getting a bigger bottle. You know, this, uh, what do you call this? This is a uh, 75 mils. I don't think it's enough. Um, I love it, you know? So Sean John um, Unforgivable, top notes, notable notes here, tangerine, mandarin, grapefruit, mint, lavender, clary sage, iris, and then base rum cashmere australian wood uh tonka bean amber right so definitely a great great fragrance uh and also quite affordable i must say um yeah so that's at number four right and then towards the business in the top three these are definitely the definitely in the top five fragrances that i currently have in my collection at number three from the house of taco Rabanne, one million lucky Man, this is a fragrance that I love, 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 love. So it's got that uh, caramel popcorn vibe. So because of the note of honey and hazelnut that they have in the... When they, those two come together, they give you that caramel popcorn smell. So sweet, um, uh, it's pleasurable, it's smooth. It's, it's a very nice fragrance, I must say, from Paco Rabanne. Paco Rabanne always makes those mass appealing type of fragrances and this is definitely one of those definitely a hit yeah unfortunately discontinued like the other one that i have in my collection but still fairly available at the moment still a uh, fragrance that widely available so yeah go out there get yourself Paco Rabanne's one million right and then the business business end now um yeah so by the way Paco Rabanne, i didn't mention the notes uh top notes uh ozonic notes plum grapefruit bergamot so fresh up top and then the honey hazelnut cedarwood cashmere orange blossom jasmine is the mid and then you know you've got a base of woods uh, patchouli almost vetiver so a bit dry and woody but that honey hazelnut mix is what makes this fragrance special at number three, Paco Rabanne's One Million Lucky, right? At number two, a clone, a supposedly clone of Angel Shea. The bottle looks similar, except Angel Shea is rounded. But this one is more, it's sweeter. It's less, doesn't have the note of cognac that Angel Shea is very famous for. But definitely, this is one of those hype fragrances from over a year ago, I think. Yeah, just over a year ago. Um, so here 
uh, the prominent notes here they, they've used is, is the date. I pick up the date, so the, you've got a mix of date, praline, tuberose, and mahonial in the mint. So that's that's what gives that sweet punch. And then the base, you've got vanilla, tonka bean, amber, amber wood, uh, uh, benzo and myrrh, and you know akikali wood. And then the top, you've got cinnamon, nutmeg, and a bergamot. But here, the key notes that dominate the dates, the praline, and the vanilla give you that sweet beautiful uh, vibe to it and then yeah that's essentially uh, Latafa Kamra uh, from the house of Latafa Latafa being a Middle Eastern clone brand but it's the uh, brand that's moving into a direction of creating its own um, you know uh, a blend of, of fragrances recently right so there's one that recently flowed, uh, for, uh, followed a flank of this called um, Latafa Kawa Latafa Coffee can't wait to get my hands on it as well right and at number one the absolute undisputed king of date nights and evening settings from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal Le Parfum definitely this is if not the number one the number two fragrance in my collection and it's a beautiful beautiful scent um uh jean paul gautier um the malna parfum um top notes of cardamom the middle of lavender and iris and then you've got vanilla oriental notes and woodsy notes at the bottom right so it's a beautiful man this this is a, a love me type of fragrance yeah this is a love me type of fragrance you heard it from me this is the love me type of fragrance if you're having issues currently put this on you will be loved by whoever is going to be your valentine well with that said um i hope you get some inspiration from my top five and you know share like comment down below uh, subscribe to the channel tell me what you think about my list give me your list or just give me your one that you've already chosen to wear on the day with that said um over and out till the next uh, video peace